Looks like it's been enough time. We shall continue with the four journeys where you plant your cross. So taking it back to the practical realm, that was very detailed and I'm glad that was enjoyable <laughs> to go through it at such depth and um, apologies about the share if it's anything disturbing. I know for me it was very disturbing. Um, my childhood had a lot of violence in it personally too. So it's like, no, 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 this is not happening. <laughs> and I'm really glad that um, that was the only time when something like that happened. Thank God. So we are going into the four journeys now where you plant your cross. And this is about seeing how every single one of us has a roadmap for the journey that is transformative in our lives. In other words, your variable represents that roadmap. So it represents the roadmap specifically in the independent variable, because that's where the journey is. Again, independent variable, this is your environmental frequencies. So of these four journeys, there are the left left, those in orange. We have the left right, those in green. We have the right left, those in blue, and we have the right right. So you can see the commonality are the lower arrows, the variable arrows that stand for the environment. It is in these particular journeys that those storylines are going to emerge. So we have four archetypal movements, four different places where you can plant your cross. This is where you plant your cross in your storyline. So it's based on your storyline, that cognitive potential. What we have in common with the others in our colored button boxes is very, very important. And this is in advanced mechanics, lecture seven on the variables following our storyline. So here's what it is to have a left-left storyline. It's observed and focused. Observed and focused. In a left-left storyline, if this is your variable, what you do absolutely defines you. What you do defines you. And what you do gives your, you your focus, and it's your focus that defines you. So we're on the design side. You can see here was a leftness. Yeah, there's leftness up here. And here we have the shift, the evolutionary shift. This is where I happen to be, where the brain is, the brain body system is, has, a, has had a mutation, but everything else still strategic, focused, observed. And so you can see, um, in my personal sharing of my story, how me being a dominatrix, I mean, I didn't share with anybody what I did. I led a secret life. I didn't go um, socialize with other parents. I just couldn't because it was very uncomfortable for me when people asked me questions. Normally I would just say stuff, blurt things out, and I didn't want to reveal that kind of, you know, life to anybody. So I was very, very, um, uncomfortable with what my life had become and what I did for work. And I didn't want that to be who I was, but because this is my variable, what I did defined me. And I am so grateful that human design came along, pulled me out of that trip of, you know, the power games and plays and struggles and helplessness or dominating, you know, domination and submission games, because that really did not feel comfortable to me. It felt like I was somebody like, uh, you know what channeling is like. It felt like someone was speaking through me at times where I became something utterly not who I was at all. And so the keynote for leftness here is about being observed, obviously. That aligned. I was being observed, <laughs> you know, playing the role. But what this literally means when you're dealing with the design node, you're dealing with the environment and being observed in the environment. So people being seen doing their thing. 
because what they were doing, what are they, they are doing is what defines them. The environment isn't necessarily a place. Again, it's the quality of the place. So we can deconstruct those environments and find the quality of the place everywhere, with that rare exception of mountains people needing to have less oxygen. So environments of human design can be found in any location, but they're going to be found in different aspects of the location. First thing that your environment does is that it nourishes your connection to the outside world. So think about that for a moment. If you are not in the right environment, you are not being nourished by a connection to the outside world. Therefore, you are going to feel isolated and alone, even if you are being observed. Being observed for the wrong thing, being observed doing the wrong thing, doing the thing that defines you in misalignment or out of integrity. It's a miserable existence, I can tell you. So in other words, it helps eliminate resistance with those beings that you're going to meet environmentally when you're in the right place. Environment is what adds this quality to your life. So not just the variables of being observed, but what's underneath that is giving you the quality, the longevity of your life. Because when you're reducing resistance, you're adding to the longevity and it is about who's in your life. It's about where you are, because if you're not in the right, right environment after the age of 30, so 30 and beyond, if you're not in the right place, you are not protected. That was so clear to me. Yeah, that I wasn't protected when I was out of integrity, not in the mountain environment that is my place in space. So beyond the health issues of that, if you're not in the right place, you're not going to see what you're here to see. There's all this focused seeing that is there. But if you're not in the right place, you're not seeing the right people, yeah, not doing the right thing. So this is somebody, if you've got an orange variable like me, you're going to be active and focused in your environment. And you're the kind of person that if you go into a place and it makes you feel like all you need to do is fall asleep, Ross says, get the hell out of there. It will kill you. And I can remember those things happening, going to a place and feeling, oh my God, I just want to sleep. I don't like it here. <laughs> One of my uh, parents' house going there and just <laughs> not being able to stay awake, constantly snoozing on their couch when I got there. Down at a lower elevation, I might add. Okay, so left left is a being that needs to be active and focused. Active and focused here with this left left. Yeah, active and focused. Doing what they do, it's important for them, it defines them. Active and observed, we should say. Text says focused, but that's the personality construct you can see. It's also um, true for all these left variables. Focused, 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 focused. What's your focus? What you are observed doing through what you are focused on is what is defining you. The moment your vehicle is aligned to the correctness of the right place, right time, right people, right action in that sense, your eyes open up to a different way of seeing, a different focus. So doing what you love is not just about sacral energy and individuality, it's about this doing, doing, doing that defines you. This is your filter for seeing. It's focused the way that you filter and see things. So here in this case, a distraction would be actually quite obvious because it goes from one deep focus to another deep focus, especially for me as a projector. I was deep focused into the spirituality side of BDSM actually can't get away from that aspect of myself, but really transcending um, pain and finding the altered states of consciousness that that could bring, not only in giving, but also receiving. So this thing about being left left, that focus, it's gone now. I don't have it. It's not my thing at all. It hasn't been for many, many, many years. Not at all in my um, intimate relationship at all, period. It's not who I am because it wasn't 
aligned for me because I was operating out of integrity away from my correct place. It's, it's, there's, no, there's no interest in it at all, which is really quite profound. So the thing about being left left is there's something that you have to understand when you're this kind of variable like me is that the most important decision that you make is about what you do. And for the projector, not just what, who you're with, but what you do with your time and your energy. And it, it comes into alignment when you're in the right place. So it's not like you can just stay in the wrong place and find that thing that you're supposed to be doing that defines you. It didn't happen. I had to be in the right place for things to shift, for a while to decondition for things to shift. So this is something that those of you who are particularly, in particular carrying this left left, if you look at what you're doing and it's not fulfilling for you, that is something that you need to let go of. You don't want to be identified with that thing that's not fulfilling. It's time for a change because everything about this is what you do defines you. And it doesn't have to be about your job in the obvious sense of the word going and, you know, super slaving away. It's not just that. It's what is the focus of your time, attention, energy, your life. What do you do with your life, literally? So it's what you do with your time and energy. This is what defines you as a left left. This has to be correct for you, for your storyline, for your fulfillment of purpose, the flowering of your unique nine-centered differentiated potential. Your activity cannot be wasted. That's the other thing to understand about activity level here. This is active brain-body system and observed. There's busy, 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 busy stuff going on. So the activity cannot be wasted, especially if you have somebody who is a non-energy type like myself. Yeah, the projectors and reflectors it has to be correct for you. Your time, your energy cannot be wasted on things that are not part of your focus. So don't get distracted. However, your mind is distracted. Focus on those things that are of correct aligned for me personally. It's personally as far as my focus and my viewpoint. Because your energy is for your focus. Your activity is for your focus with the left left. And that is an overview. Beautiful.